Hi everyone, Max and here. Welcome to my first Master of Orion Conquer the Stars guide. Now if you've been playing the reboot to Master of Orion, you may have encountered a certain mechanic or modifier that's within the game. And you can see down in the bottom corner, I'm highlighting Disposition, and it mentions that the Bulrathi, in this case, they believe that you're colonizing too fast. This is the uh, mechanic and the uh, modifier that I'm going to be talking about within this video. Now this mechanic, this modifier, is very, very damaging to your chances of success within the game if any of the races actually start to believe that you are colonizing too fast. And the purpose of this guide is to uh, basically let you know under what circumstances this is triggered and how to avoid picking up this modifier uh, for as long as possible to have more control about when it's triggered or not. So first things first, what are the consequences of your opponents gaining this modifier? Well, basically if any of your opponents gain this modifier, their relations with you will rapidly deteriorate to the point where you're either hostile with them or they become afraid of you. Uh, the difference is down to whether they are competitive militarily with you. Also, uh, any relations between you and your opponents uh, will become much more strained, so you'll be much less likely to be able to conduct any forms of diplomacy. In fact, once you gain this modifier, it's basically almost impossible to lose it. It may actually be impossible. Uh, in theory, the only way you could lose it is by actually losing territory, losing planets, which is something you obviously do not want to do. So it's very damaging because it will basically mean that you end up at war with every single opponent that you have this modifier with. Even if you happen to be allied with an opponent who gains this modifier, you will eventually lose that alliance and they will eventually go to war with you if their military is uh, competitive with your own. You may be wondering what is the reason for this mechanic at all. Basically it's an anti-wide mechanic. It's designed to rein in your uh, colonizing or your conquering uh, by setting everyone against you. Not all strategy games use this. Uh, other games like Civilization, for example, use a happiness mechanic, at least in a recent Civilization, that limits the amount of cities you can actually have. Uh, but uh, there are no constraints like that in Master of Orion. You can colonize as much as you want, but there is a consequence with this. They believe you're colonizing too fast uh, modifier. So what is it that actually causes the you are colonizing too fast modifier? Well, obviously, colonizing too much, but apart from that, actually taking plants via conquest also increases the chances that you will gain the modifier. It's actually the relationship between the amount of colonies that you own in comparison to how many of your opponents own that actually triggers the modifier. So, you can see in this case here, we have 11 planets and all of the other five different opponents within the game have different amounts. The Cylon have eight, the humans have eight as well, the Bulrathi have five, the Mercian have five, and the Elkari in yellow have seven. Now, if you add up each and every single one of these AI opponents here, the total amount of colonies they actually have in this circumstance is 33. Now I have 11 and if I go to the diplomacy screen here you can see that I don't actually have the you are colonizing to ma fast modifier. The reason why I don't have the modifier is because I do not have more than 25% of the total colonies that have been colonized. If you stay at that amount or below it in comparison to all of the other opponents within the game, then you will not get the modifier in any circumstance. Now that's true on this map type which I'm using here, which I believe, uh, if I click on that, it is, I think it's a medium map I'm using here, uh, five opponents. Now, I don't know if it's 25% for all different map types. It may well be, but I haven't actually 
uh, check for the other maps. I imagine it is. So if I was to colonize, then that would change. That would take me over the 25% mark. Uh, so it'd be like 28% perhaps, something like that. Let's actually see that in action. So I've got a colony ship here. I'm going to colonize uh, Bootis uh, next turn, it would seem, because I've run out of movement, sadly. It turns out I didn't actually have to colonize to take my colonies above the 25% mark of the total colonies colonized because the Alcari actually lost a planet. It was uh, destroyed this turn and was bombed to uh, smithereens. So that takes down the number of total planets colonized to 43 and I have 11 of them, which is more than 25%. So if I go back into the diplomacy part here, you can actually see now that the Mershon, the Bulrafli, and the Alkari all believe that we are colonizing too fast. But there is an exception that can happen sometimes. Uh, you can see here that the Cylon do not have the modifier and nor do the humans. There's actually a second condition that determines whether an opponent will pick up the You Are Colonizing Too Fast modifier. Basically, if an opponent has two-thirds or more of the planets that you happen to have, then they will not pick up the modifier. In this circumstance, the Cylon and the humans both have eight uh, planets, so I could have up to 12 planets and still not pick up the modifier with either of those uh, civilizations. If I were to have 13 planets though, I would pick up the modifier. One way you can figure it out is basically by adding 50% uh, of the amount of colonies that they have onto uh, your amount to see if uh, you'd be able to colonize that much. So 50% of 8 is 4 added on equals 12. Uh, say for example they had 5 colonies you would add on two and a half, which means you could colonize up to seven planets and they would not pick up the modifier. If you colonize eight, it doesn't round up, then you would go over that amount and you would get the modifier. You are colonizing too fast with those opponents. Uh, you can see in this example, uh, the Alkari went down to six and so the most I could have with them is nine planets. If I had 10 planets or more, then I would pick up the modifier and of course that's exactly what happened in this circumstance. I have more planets than that and the Alkari now have the colonizing too fast modifier whereas the Cylon and the humans do not. I'll show this example in a bit more detail so I skipped ahead a few turns and we can see here that the humans have now colonized an extra planet. There are nine planets now whereas the Cylon are on eight planets and I've actually now got 12 planets. Uh, so if we go into the diplomacy screen, all of these three races of course still have the you are colonizing too fast amount, but we haven't triggered it of course with the Cylon or the human because uh, I don't have more than 50% more planets compared to uh, they have. So 8 at 50% is 12 and uh, he's got uh, 9 so I can have uh, 13 and a half planets or 13 planets because you don't round it up. So to show that in example uh, if I colonize now what will happen is the Cylon will become annoyed with me. They will gain the modifier bonus if I go up to 13 planets from 12 and the humans won't. I'm allowed 13 planets with them because they have 9 and they have 8. So let's uh, see this in action. So if I move this colony ship to Bootis, let's colonize that planet here. And I'll skip the uh, colony video and we'll stick anything in the list here. Okay, and Welcome hopefully to GNN. I can end the turn quickly to show this an example. Now on the turn that you actually go over the amount it doesn't kick in straight away. It's on the next turn. Looks like the Alcaria are getting bombed a bit still by the Mershon. Uh, 
And the AI has got to do its turn, so it's taking a while. Right, so everything's done here now, and let's check this out. So the Cylon, as expected, they believe we are now colonizing too fast, and the humans don't, because we are still within the limits for them. And uh, you can see that, of course, in more detail if we go back into here. So you may be wondering how you can use all of this information to your advantage. Well, basically, it's a lot easier to take on one or two or three opponents than it is five opponents all at once. So the early opponents who you happen to trigger the You Are Colonizing Too Fast modifier with, you would want to basically destroy them completely before taking on the opponents that you happen to not have triggered the modifier with and you can basically keep uh, from triggering the modifier with certain opponents if you stop colonizing and keep within the limits that I've mentioned uh, you can actually of course you can't take planets including colonizing planets but you can actually raise or destroy planets and as long as uh, the second rule isn't violated with certain opponents who happen to have a lot of planets then it won't affect things so the humans would stay on side in a circumstance if I were to say for example completely raise all of the Bulrathi planets and uh, then what remains of the Altair planets here, the Altarian planets and then onto the Mercian planets and we could have stayed on side with the Cylon as well uh, those three opponents taking on all of those or just on their own would be a heck of a lot easier than taking on all five opponents at once which is something that uh, you could quite easily end up being uh, up against should you colonize or take too many planets all in one go. There is a point though when you become so powerful that it doesn't really matter what your opponents do you might as well colonize and conquer as much as you're able to en route towards gaining that conquest victory or even a diplomatic victory which is kind of uh, link to the conquest victory as well since it's down to how much population you have So that concludes this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it If you have please help me out by giving this video a like I'm really grateful to those of you who do that as it helps improve my videos in YouTube search rankings But when people for example search for master of Orion It's much more likely that my videos will turn up in the search results also if you have any comments or questions about this video or feedback, please let me know by using the comments section. I respond to questions no matter how old a video is. And if you want to see more content like this on the channel, please consider subscribing as well. I'm actually doing a Let's Play for Master of Orion currently with the Terrans on very hard difficulty. So if you haven't checked that out already, please give it a look. I was actually trying to figure out how these mechanics actually work during that Let's Play. I think it's uh, about video 8 before I had uh, figured everything out. I also have a Patreon page which, which is a way that people help out by giving uh, the odd donation here and there uh, to help support the channel. If you want to consider doing that yourself please check out my Patreon page and uh, if you actually decide to donate as well I'm really really grateful if you do that because the survival of the channel is really down to uh, people helping out via Patreon. Uh, YouTube doesn't give uh, too much in ad revenue these days, so I could really do with the help. Right, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.